Welcome, Aquarians. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back, Aquarians. Let's see what is happening in Transparent. Aquarium. Okay. So, Aquarians, you have a lot of communication that is transpiring. A whole lot of communications. Um, we see you come in with the energy of the Four of Swords. And this energy of the Four of Swords is really um, opening up a whole lot of communications that is going to be coming at you. This is going to be a month where meetings, 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 a lot of communications is going to be transpiring. The King of Cups, the Eight of Wands, um, then we have the Page. So there is a whole lot of um, communications that is coming at you guys. Okay, so be aware of that. Then we have... Uh, um, the swords, the six of swords, a situation is not yet over. Um, we have the energy of the lovers. Um, a whole lot of you who are thinking about, uh, um, having, uh, new contracts. A whole lot of news is going to be coming in. That is good. Then we have another major arcana. And this major arcana is the devil. And it's in reverse. So um, that is, this is really, really wonderful, um, Aquarians, because what we're recognizing is that you open this period with a whole lot of communication. It's as if you, Aquarians, recognize something. A whole lot of communication is transpiring because of uh, some unusual situation that has transpired. So communication is going to be the name of the game and on the work floor in whatever endeavor that you do business, there is going to be a whole lot of communication. And this communication is, um, you know, serious um, situation that is transpiring because you are trying to end some sort of a dishonesty that has been transpiring. This is the energy of the devil in the reverse. And there was a lot of dishonesty that has transpired in your world and you're trying to resolve the situation in a really positive way. So I see you occurrence are getting down to the bottom of what was going on and what was happening in your world and it's definitely communicating in a very, very positive way. So um, this is a very good month opening up with communication and uh, recognizing that it's time that a situation being resolved because it's about some sort of a negative influence that is transpiring and is coming up. So this is a good month where you Aquarians are going to be basically standing your ground and there could have been some sort of an issue with a Libra that you're standing your ground and you're communicating this um, and is trying to resolve some sort of a situation that is transpiring that there was negative energies and negative people, um, a situation that has been, um, you know, going out of uh, resistance, going out of balance, uh, um, some sort of a on savor of a situation that was transpiring for a lot of you Aquarians. And this is where you're standing your ground and resolving some sort of an issue. As we look at the second week, the second week is uh, the Eight of Wands. And this Eight of Wands energy brings a whole lot of communication, a whole lot of um, data information work. The second week is going to be very, very busy. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of your query is going to be recognizing that the second week is going to bring you a lot of uh, busyness, okay? And it's as if you have so much to get off and you're trying to get off all the stuff that needs to be done and trying to balance it out. And this is where you're going to be recognizing um, things that needs to be dealt with, okay? So 
um and it's going to be wonderful um no matter how um you try to uh, exuberate um this is going to be wonderful because you're going to be recognizing um that there are uh, multiple things that seems to be going away where you have to stand your ground in order to resolve this so it's a whole lot of work and there's no question but it's about resolving it and getting um to the end of the game then we have the energy of the lovers and um some of you could be looking at new contracts could be resolving some sort of a new contract um a lot of you are going to be um paying more attention um to uh people and their performance so it could be a time of performance review it depends on who you are and what company but it has to do with contracts a whole lot of you uh, are waiting on uh, a new contract and is wondering how that is going on so um the energy of the lovers some of you could be in some sort of a partnership that isn't um going well and you're standing your ground and waiting for the situation to be resolved okay so it's about communication it could be mergers that is going to be coming in the energy of the lover is about working also together and finding out the good match okay so these could be problems team okay looking for new um people for your team your department uh, um that sort of a situation then we see the eight of swords and a whole lot of information is going to be coming out because it's as if someone was trying to um stop some sort of a documentation or at a, 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 a um kept some sort of a data and documentation from being processed okay and you're recognizing now because you come into this month recognizing hey um there has been some sort of an unsavorable game that has been happening and i need to resolve this and it has to do with something that should have been uh, already in place and people have been playing a game and have not um, put this thing in place, okay? Um, this is a bit high, so I'm going to be taking it down a little bit so you guys can see this, okay? So, um, it is um, a situation where a lot of you um, are going to be trying to figure out uh, and resolve some sort of an issue um, that is happening and transpiring. And it's going to be really um seeking a way um to figure out what is the best method um to create some sort of a balance in your world okay because if you're looking um at this and recognizing that uh, um some sort of a unsavorable situation that was transpiring where people held back um some sort of a process that things could not be processed in order um, for the work to flow. And this is exactly what you are seeing. So it is um, it is a time when we're looking at uh, the last week. Um, this is the energy of the Eight of uh, uh, Swords. And this energy of the Eight of Swords in the last week is advising a lot of you that people have been um you know creating their own desire to what they you know they had people were working off their own agenda and you aquarian is going to be going back and is going to be looking in and recognizing that a lot of people have been working on their own agenda and not recognizing um what is transpiring and is happening and they needed is as if you aquarians is going to be shaking up the work floor shaking up the work floor and saying hey um you know this is not uh, the process this is not um the rules and regulation this is not uh, um you know what management needs so you could be management or you could be in a leadership role or you could just be um someone on the work floor that is recognizing that a lot of people are not pulling their weights 
and you're going to be showing this up and it's going to be making sure um, that you um, apply the right uh, um, process um, to your task. So it's going to be um, a serious, serious month. You're ending up uh, with another sword's energy, okay? And if you recognize you are looking forward to get out of uh, this month and move on, um, it's as if you had to stand your ground and bring in back some sort of a balance where a whole lot of process was out of balance because people weren't doing their work properly. And this is where a lot of you Aquarian could be thinking, you know, do I really want these, uh, um, someone on my team or, you know, what is the best way of uh, recuperating what has been happening and what has been transpiring? And here we see that as you leave this month, you're looking forward to create something much better in your world. So as we go back, they're going to be recognizing a whole lot of communication is going to be coming in. And this communication is about someone um, who, were, who were trying to create some sort of a problem, okay? And whoever this person is, there is the energy of a Pisces Cancer Scorpion person between the ages of uh, um, um, 19 and 50. And this person, I see they recognize how this person got their contract. It's, it's as if you Aquarians is now going back and looking for some sort of a paperwork or... um. Because, you know, you could be getting some sort of a complaint about a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person and you're going back because you're investigating it. OK, so you come into this month receiving some sort of a data and information. And as you see, you stand in the foundation and you recognize that whoever this person is, whatever the data and information you Aquarian has received, you are now standing up and is going to be investigate how... And um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion have gotten their um, their contracts. You know, um, you're is this if uh, people are complaining over this person, whoever this person is, uh, and uh, you now as an Aquarian is now investigating who is this person and recognizing whoever this person is uh, as. Uh, uh, been creating a whole lot of issues and has gotten some sort of a data and information which they shouldn't have. So this month is going to be focusing on a Pisces Cancer or Scorpion person. So here you are as a, an Aquarian um, doing your job because some sort of information that you got coming in this time period you're looking at the information and recognizing that there could have been some sort of a foul play, how someone got uh, uh, some sort of a contract. And now you're really looking at uh, this situation and is recognizing that um, this contract that this person got didn't go through um, the right procedure. So now you're looking at this person and recognizing some sort of a foul play with a contract. And trying to figure out how did this person get the position that they're in? Because it could be a complaint where people are complaining um, that this person is not up to um, their tark or up to their the position that they're in. They're not carrying out the right work and the right process. And this is what is going to be transpiring. So um, it is... Um, it is um a really uh is it uncomfortable? No, it is a situation that you need to resolve. It's a situation that you really need to look at, uh, and you really need to go through and look at uh, what is transpiring and how um people got in the position and checking out whether or not people are in the right position because this is a situation that is transpiring. So Aquarians, you're going to be in 
um, for a whole lot of work because it's as if uh, um, it's coming to the attention of you Aquarians that uh, there is someone that is not uh, pulling their, work, their weight around. There is someone that has been creating um, maybe drama um, as you see how that person is standing up and as someone who um, you have been recognizing that there is always um, some sort of a complaint uh, someone who you recognize, I don't know, you never had an opinion over this person until people started talking. So whatever that people started talking about, uh, you're now recognizing that uh, you need to look into the situation to kind of figure out and recognize what is happening in Transparent, okay? And that is where you're going to be seeing and recognizing um, there was some sort of an unfavorable place where someone could have used their powers to get some sort of a position and is not uh, um, co-creating with this position. I love you guys. Remember, if you want to see the extended, follow us to the next side. All of these regions are extended. If you become a member, there's an archive where you guys can find all of the information. I do love you guys. I gotta go, but I'm saying namaste until next time.